people of Mbere North, that MP has time to go and sit in a big hotel. Last day there, were, there was a meeting in a big hotel in Nembu. We as youth were not well represented. And chair a meeting to come and declare one of the cabinet secretaries a spokesperson for themselves, not even for the people. We have unanimously agreed that the link between us and the executive is Professor Kidure Kindeke. We feel that Manyata and Ronyenges were not represented and we would want to know why. My name is Frida Karani. I'm a gender and equality, diversity and social inclusion specialist uh, based in Embu and I'm also a civic leader. Today we are gathered here and we want to confirm that we acknowledge His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto as our president. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa as his deputy, our governor, Cicely Mbariri. We have four MPs in Nembu County and 20 MCAs. And today we are gathered because of the proceedings that uh, we've been seeing of late. In a layman's language, wanaongea kuhusu mlima, and they are saying that now the mlima is divided. And as young women, women leaders and youth of Embu, we are saying that we have noticed it and we are very concerned. Because these politicians, these legislators that we elected to go to parliament to represent us and those that will favor the Mwanainchi, we see they are busy doing other things and those other things are divisive politics. So today in one voice we are calling for them to just stop and retrospect and go back to development and stop doing these divisive politics. Um, the other day they spent a whole day in a very big hotel in Embu and they declared one of the cabinet ministers a spokesperson. As women and young people of Embu, we are noting that for, uh, two of our MPs were not present, the MP for Manyata and the MP for Ronyenges. And so we are wondering if that team is speaking for the people of Embu. We feel that Manyata and Ronyenges were not represented and we would want to know why so that as young people we exercise our democratic right. That meeting that met that day had no representation of women at a time when Kenya is grappling with gender equality and the observance of the two that gender role. We want as women to be included in decisions that are made that affect us. Number three, there was no public participation when declaring this leader. Remember, when we elected these leaders, according to the constitution, they're supposed to represent the people. And if they don't represent the people, the people represent themselves, which is what we are doing. So we also want to call upon those leaders when they are making such critical decisions of announcing a kingpin or a spokesperson to involve the people so that we are also able to put our voice there and agree to that agenda. Number four. The issue of regionalization is causing a lot of division among us as constituents. When we start taking sides, it means that as, as a people of Kenya, cohesion is affected and we are not able uh, to work together. So for me, I call for togetherness. And as women of Embu, we are calling for togetherness of these leaders and they should stop and go back to their development agenda. I want to highlight a very specific example of Mbere North where we as Gen Z, we are struggling with digital awareness on some of the stalled projects. Bridges that were destroyed during the floods are yet to be built. Schools are still not built, but that MP has time to go and sit in a big hotel and chair a meeting to come and declare one of the cabinet secretaries a spokesperson for themselves, not even for the people. And we also want to take note as women and young people of Embu that we still have another cabinet secretary who is uh, in, a, in a level position, uh, uh, Honorable Moturi, and we don't know where his position was. So we want to call these leaders to be together, all of them, and we as women and young people, we shall not accept a decision that we see is not inclusive of all the leaders that we elected. Masi Wanjiko, a youth from Embu County. We as youth are left, are left behind and nothing we are... All, we are not informed of about anything. Last day there, were, there was a meeting in a big hotel in Nembu. We as youth were not well represented and kuna maendeleo, kuna vitu wanapanga kuendelea instead of wanafanya maendeleo. We as youth tunataka pia to be included. No, they are not representing our issues. Jupia, tumesoma, tunafaa kukua included and tukua tumetaftu wakazi ya. So your endorsement, when will I take out it? We need them to include us in those meetings break participation. and, and, and a public participation. Kwanza wa achane na siyasa wafanye kazi. It's time for them to work.
this is not the time for them kukuwa nafanya siyasa, it's time ya wa kukuwa nafanya kazi, we are as youth wakuwa na Twitter pamoja wanatuongelesha wanatuambia what next kama ni strikes kukuwa kuna strikes kama wako pamoja wafai kukuwa united kufanya mikutano za siyasa for this time Jina yangu ni Francis Musili Mimi naongelea Gen Z kwa jumla tumeona mambo mingi inafanyika lakini sisi kama Gen Z tumetengwa Mikutano inafanyika watu wanaendelea kufanya mikutano huku public lakini sisi kama Gen Z atuhusiki mahali Watu wanaenda huko wanapanga vitu lakini sisi hatuoni hata kun, kama kuna mali tuko involved. Kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba hiyo mambo ikiendelea kufanyika tukue tunahusika development tunataka tukue and development mzuri. Hiyo ma strikes kwanza ishughulikiwe natakuwa sawa.